Welcome to our live training session number 22. We're going to be tuning an 8th gen Honda Civic Si using Honda Auto Flash Pro. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a bone stock K20 Z3 engine. Now in addition to this, it has a Jackson Racing Supercharger Kit, a Mercado Racing Aftercooler for the Supercharger Kit, a throttle body inlet adapter to a J37 throttle body, 3 inch cold air intake, and has a race header with a 3 inch exhaust. Now on the fuel system side of things, we find we have ID 1000 cc injectors, a drop-in fuel pump, we have a Honda to plug and play 4 bar map sensor, we're going to be tuning this again using Honda to Flash Pro on 93 octane. Now the supercharger has been pulled anywhere between 13 to 15 psi of boost, so we'll see ultimately what kind of boost we end up with once we start to tune it. Now let's jump into our live training session so we can get started creating our base calibration file and get our engine fired up. Welcome to our live training session here with our supercharged 8th gen Civic Si. Now we went over the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our Flash Pro Manager software so we can get started creating our base calibration file. So what we need to do here is jump into our software. We're going to go into the upper left hand corner under here under new calibration. We have to select the calibration type that's going to be suited for this particular vehicle. So we're going to click on this tab here. And we're going to find here under the model we have a filtration list to whittle down the calibrations in the library based on the model of the vehicle we're using. And in this case, it's going to be the 2006 to 2011 Honda Civic Si. So we're going to find if we go down our list here, the 2006 to 2011 option, we're going to click on it. And then we're going to find here under vehicle, we have two different options here for US Canada based vehicle market. We're going to find we have a 2006 model and then 2007, 2011. Now, the reason why there's a difference is because the 2006 does not have VSA. The 2007 to 2011 error has VSA. This vehicle has VSA. I don't know the particular uh, year of the vehicle, but I know it's not a 2006. So I'm going to go ahead and select this option right now. If you're in the international market, you're going to find there's a, a Mexico-based calibration, Central America, South America, Asia, Thailand, so depending on where you're at in the world, you might be selecting a different calibration. I'm going to go ahead and select 2007 to 2011 US Canada. Now, when we do that, it's going to be giving us a filtration list here of all of the calibrations we have available for this particular uh, vehicle we're looking at and the particular year span we're looking at. So I'm going to go in here and just select any calibration. It doesn't really matter. We're going to be going in and making a lot of modifications to this based on this vehicle. So none of, nothing in this calibration library is going to run this vehicle. It's definitely not going to work. So that's why we need to go and create our base calibration and go through this, this mapping process and this tuning process. So I'll go right here and my just grab this, this uh, AEM short ram intake race header high flow cat stock hat back. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to grab this particular file. Click OK. Now we're going to find that the file has been populated here in our Flash Pro Manager software. Now we're ready to go in and program some of the details, such as our injector size, converting it from mass airflow based calibration to a speed density calibration that's going to look at the map sensor and not take a look at the map sensor. Now on something like this, anything that has a cam on it, um, even naturally aspirated, even if just bolt-ons, I don't tune these with the mass airflow sensor. I find they run much smoother, they run much better with a actual uh, map sensor. So it's going to be your choice what you want to go ahead and do. I'm only going to be covering speed density mapping and, and tuning because again, I find that they run much, much better on the speed density calibration. It is a bit more work to go ahead and get it all dialed in, but it's definitely worth it in the end. So let's jump into 